when something bad is happening, um, we gather. When something good is happening, we gather. And that has been something that has really been affected and is really challenging for us. As, as people, we've lost a lot of people. My name is Laurel Shepard, and I work with Johns Hopkins Center for Prayer Community and Health, currently with the Family Spirit Program and also other projects within the center that address behavioral health and infectious disease. Our needs here on the reservation are a little bit different. About 25 to 40 percent of our people here don't have some basic things such as running water and electricity. That is one of our biggest challenges because the recommendations are to wash your hands and a lot of our families don't have access to this. We have a lot of family members living in multi-generational households and that's due to a lot of different things which is comprised of colonization, culture, and um, unfortunately poverty, which also makes it very difficult to social distance and practice all those um, protective measures that have been recommended. We come from a very strength-based practice and speaking too much to the negative is not something that's naturally done here. With this pandemic, it has allowed our people to come back to that mindset of preparing and that mindset of wait what was it we usually do what what were we doing in the past i think it's really hard to explain something like that to somebody who isn't familiar with the culture and the practices within the area and also just having a, an understanding of where we're coming from johns hopkins has been here in our communities in indian country for a lot of years now they provide the support and of course the education and the larger platform for us to work and they've done a lot of things which include public health certificates and utilizing the staff here within the communities that really help with these public health interventions. They are very cognizant of um, who they are delivering it to and also the cultural norms that are within the areas that they are serving. I really want to express, we've been helped by so many uh, people throughout the world and I think on behalf of the Navajo Nation, on behalf of the center and everyone else on the Navajo Nation, which is our thank you for seeing us and um, we feel a little less forgotten and we're thankful that you see us.